Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Khan Baba and I am so excited to have you here today. In this video, we are going to talking about the NAR. I have been getting a lot of requests for this topic. So I am thrilled to finally be able to share my thought and insight with you. So let's share the video with your friend. It really helped me out and I appreciated your support more than you know. So let's start the today information. When I read the 2011 Dr. Shabibi plan for the reinstatement process, he told us then that the de-dollarization is critical in Iraq's currency reform process. So, it sounds to me like this phase of the Dr. Shabibi plan is ending and they are moving to the next stage of the process. What we're looking for is the investment projects because that's going to be going into the market economy. Those investment projects is what we're waiting for. We're at the end of the monetary reform. Everything that we want is about to be given to the citizens. It's going to be slowly announced and brought out to them. We're going to see a lot happen over the next two years. At what stage will the dinar have more value? It could start at any time. It could be a little increment next month. It could be nothing for six months and then more. Maybe they float at that point and then there's a little bit more significant improvement. I think it's inevitable that the dinar begins to gain value if they follow through with reintegration into the global economy and creation of an economy within Iraq. We can see there about to start spending and spending is going to need an exchange rate that is not 1310 as the official exchange rate. It's quiet on the RV front as expected but, but this will be a big day with what is coming out of BRICS. I wish for all of you to be on the highest of alertness that you can. Keep your eye on Sadani because Sadani will equal a lack. A lack will equal the CBI's board of directors which will equal a new exchange rate. The value and rate of the dinar are two different issues. Yes, the rate should reflect a true value but it does not today. They know it and we know it. Iraq does not have to rebuild their economy for the rate to change. Iraq does not have to rebuild their economy for the rate to change accordingly as the value is already present, just with the resources they can now exploit and sell. Once they do rebuild Iraq cities and grow their economy, the dinar should also then adjust its rate and go even higher as they plan to put it on a float when it is reinstated. No, it is not possible to float the dinar starting at the program rate. The federal court is being talked about on television channel 1 saying the decision made was on July 26 that the new budget to be activated and funded within 30 day and we are nearing the date. We draw a conclusion that maybe we will be able to have access to funds from our exchanges on Friday. A military source is giving us a timeline that takes us through Saturday to receive notifications and begin exchanges. Let's see what happens. We are definitely on a day-to-day, hour-by-hour basis. We have learned that the CBI is targeting a new revalued rate for the dinar of 1132 from 1320 and very soon. This is their target, and we know now it is. Is this the last rate change we are looking for prior to the one-to-one -one coming? Revaluation and triggering the project to delete the zeros? Just be patient, the reinstatement is coming. 